Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, uh, almost 10 a.m. here in Ohio. It is cold outside. It is a perfect day for coffee and games. So I am here today with uh, USS Laffey by Mike Hyman. It is a roll and write with a historical setting that uh, puts us in the place of commanding a ship. Uh, the USS Laffey, that was the forward radar ship in April 16th, I believe, 1945. And um, there are a number of interesting things going on with the game, but uh, probably my favorite is the fact that Mike used uh, found art from the True Comics series. He uh, made use of the... Um, the arc from the True Comics series to describe how this ship uh, made it without getting destroyed. And there's um, stuff in the back. They've, they've actually played this game on the USS Laffey. Uh, there's a picture of Mike at the back. And there's the Laffey. Uh, it's now a museum ship, I believe, in North Carolina? Uh, South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina. And you can go there. And actually, I think that's next to, uh, it's next to the Essex class carrier USS Yorktown. Um, so it's a lot smaller in that picture, you can't tell. But yeah, you're going to be going against four different types of Japanese um, aircraft from the end of World War II. One that at the beginning of World War II was highly effective at Pearl Harbor, but by the end of uh, the war it was used with uh, fused bombs and they made their pilots uh, crash into ships like the Laffey. Um, but that's the, uh, how, do I, how do I say this, the uh, Aichi D3A2, the Yokosuka D4Y4, the Nakajima KI-43 and the Nakajima B-5N. So those are the four ship um, planes that are going to be coming against the ship. We have to make some decisions and I'll go ahead and show how to set up the game. There are also four different ways you can play the game with different difficulty and um, I guess some variation. I'm not going to read all that but it is a very nicely laid out rule book that um, just brings you into the experience of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a lot um, enough to explain here, and with that, um, we will uh, go ahead and do all that. So in this setup, uh, the first thing is you take your def uh, a pit side four of a D6 that is provided, and you place it here, and that represents your supplies that are available for your damage control teams, which are these two blue. Um, to use, and then you get to decide where these are going to go. I'm going to pick four, which is uh, magazine and ammunition. So you have your uh, aft and four of the ship, aft and four, and these two teams can run around the ship and help do things that are useful. And then the other one's going to go to the bridge. We can't go to the bridge twice um, in a row, two turns in a row, but we are going to go there at the beginning of the game. And we have a D6 that we're going to roll in a second. We have a, a red. Um, cube that is going to simulate where the damage is landing on the ship. We have some D10s that we're going to assign out here every time. Um, bridge actions, hose, wrench, and an aircraft, 5 inch gun, uh, a glancing shot, leaks, fires, and explosions which are the worst. So we don't want to have explosions. We have two chances to reroll, so a total of three rerolls each turn, and then dice are locked in. So the very first thing is um, assigning our DC teams like we did. So I went to the uh, aft magazine and ammunition so that I can um, lock in a four and get this anti-aircraft uh, gun guns down here, I guess. No, actually, those would be up here, but whatever. That's, that's where it's at. Magazine and ammunition is locked in. And my bridge, which allows me to lock in a one and... Um, then I get to lock in a four because of this one over here. So those are happening. So that's good for me. But then we have to figure out which of our um, first planes is going to attack us. 
So we roll a, uh, I think it's a, I forget now, the, the D10 or the D6 to figure out which first one is going to attack us. It is going to be, um, da -da 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 -da. roll a D10. Okay, so we're going to roll a D10, and that's what's going to hit us first. Uh, be trying to hit us first is this. Um, so the itchy is number one, two, three, four, five, six. This plane over here, which I forget what kind of it doesn't matter, the blue one. And because it's going forward, it's going to be going this way. So, and okay, so that did that. And then we have to figure out where it's going to be attacking. So for both sides, we have a one through 10 here uh, and a one through 10 here. And so we, when you roll this, so this is six. So I go six and uh, four, which is gonna be the crew quarters. And I take my red and place it down here, which means I have one less die to roll during phase three. Okay, so we'll just remove that for now. And um, it's going to be assigning. So then you assign the damage. And this is bad because there is an explosion here. Um, so it's going to do one damage, one. Um, one leak and one explosion. So you do use two colored pencils or, or colored pens, however you want to do it. So, but And you have to assign at least half of the damage to the place that it hits. So this is crew quarter. So we're, we will put a leak next to it in storage is what I'm going to do. So we put a square, a blue square here, and then we're going to put the explosion here and a damage also here. So the bad thing about explosions uh, is that explosions make more damage happen throughout your ship and they spread and they're really yucky that way they're bad i don't know <laughs> yucky I don't know. whatever um but when that explosion happens um you add debris to any damaged compartment and every adjacent compartment to it by filling it uh with that so it's just gonna spread the debris out that's bad debris so if you want to deal with this leak and um yeah that's just gonna that's gonna happen, we can't stop that because it's an explosion, it's not a fire. Okay, so that is, we have assigned our DC teams, we have the aircraft attack that happened, and then we did the um, planning phase, and now we roll dice, and this is phase three. I don't know why it's not here on the turn order, but we roll dice now, and then we can reroll. That was a nine. I don't want that. This is a ten. This is about as bad as it could be. So I'm going to reroll all three of those. And three. I uh, I do need a wrench, so I'll put that wrench there. Six is just a glance, so I guess I will stick with that because at this point, that's better than other things. And I'll try to get okay. And that's a nine, so we're gonna have a fire. We're gonna have bad things happen. It's already not going well for the Laffy. The Laffy might not make it. Um, I think the survival rate when you play this game on normal or commander difficulty like I am is probably about 40, between 30 and 40%. So it, it does wanna it does wanna mess you up. So okay, so command die can be used as any die that they can be used as wild. Or you can use them uh, for special things like your bridge actions, getting more supplies. Because whenever you fill in one of these boxes, you get the thing. Uh, you can get clear skies, which means that you won't have aircraft attacking next time. And one thing that Mike has said that uh, some people have misread in the rules is that if you have clear skies, then you can't use an uh a gun to attack planes because there's no planes up there. How are you attacking planes if the skies are clear? So that, that's something to be aware of. And then down here, and the hardest one to get is you can start saving up for these wildcats. So because I have a fire and I didn't get any hoses, I'm going to use this as a wild for a fire hose and fill in. Oh, I don't have a fire. 
No, I'm going to have a fire. Oh, that's awful. The fire doesn't exist yet. Because one of the, uh, another one of the things that's different about this game versus some other roll and rights is that you can't choose which order these go in. You have to resolve them left to right. So they're uh, sequential. You're figuring out how things are happening. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see a little better. But um, okay, let's uh, let's do this. So maybe you can see a little better all right so with all that um, what do I okay so my hose wouldn't do me a whole lot of good maybe the thing I should do is try more to knock out this uh, this plane. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get another explosion next time. Either way, this was like the worst plane to start on. Um, but so be it. So I have two anti-aircraft. I'm going to use those to just start getting rid of this plane. And um, once these are marked off, you just mark off the whole plane. And then the next plane is the one that's going to be attacking and so forth. And so if you can get rid of all these planes and there's no more planes attacking your ship, you have succeeded. Um, so that... Like I said, that should be in sequential order, but um, the wrench is the other thing that we're going to do. So this is just damage down here now. The debris never goes away, uh, so you're just stacking damage and damage and damage. This is just a glancing blow, and then we have a fire started. And that will start in the compartment down here. Of course it did, because there's an explosion, right? So, all right, now we have resolved all the end of... Uh, turn effects uh, like phase five, um, which is so that was phase four resolve that you die, and then here we have resolve your leaks spreading. We dealt with that, that was good, but now the fire is going to spread and the explosion. Um, we should have made that right away, gives off a uh, debris to any damaged compartment and every adjacent compartment. So, one two, three, okay, so we just added a bunch of damage. Actually, not too bad, uh, but now we have a fire, and one active fire anywhere in your ship spreads to compartment above it, and if there's no compartment above it, it becomes an explosion. That's the worst, so we have to be careful with that. So the fire has spread. We have to deal with two fires next time, and they are not debris yet. They are just raging fires. And if it goes up here to the bridge, that's really bad. So we can't stay at the bridge. We're going to have to um, go ahead and move our, our stuff around. We do get our, our die back here. Um, so I think I think I want to make sure I lock in a four again. So I'm just going to leave that there. And... Um, I don't want more fires. This next thing's gonna. Th this next aircraft is gonna give me more fires. So I'm just gonna move up. You know, I could use the D10. That's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the T D10 as another, um, as another, the the red D10 as another available die. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna place that one there, in the communications. Plus, it gives us access to use a supply to put out the fire in the communications. So we have some different things going on there. So we assigned our DC team. Now we have the aircraft attack. It will tell us where it's going to hit. It's still going in the four side of the ship. And we get a nine. And with that nine, it's going to explode. Um, where is it at? Nine. Oh, no, the bridge. That's the worst. When it explodes on the bridge, they're just... I had much better luck the last time I played this game. This is not going super well for me right now. So, anyways, okay, so it's going to attack there. There's the damage. And then the damage here. Actually, the only one that gets it, that is considered next to the bridge is communication. So that, that could have been worse. But um, if our bridge explodes, the game's over. So um, that is something to be aware of. And we roll our dice. 
Um, did we lock in? We did lock in a four, so I got to put that out first with this uh, anti aircraft here in the back. So we lock that in. Roll these. There's a one. There's a one. I like that. And a two to put out the, the fires. And um, I don't need a. I don't need a three, but a four would help. Continue. So let's re-roll this three. Hopefully we get something good. And there's a four. Um, I really want one more. You know what? I have a one. I have a one I can use. So we're going to use all four of those fours. I'm not going to re-roll, not risk getting something terrible. And then we resolve these. So I'm going to move this one to a uh, two here. And then this one, I'm going to start my... FM2 Wildcats over here. So I have one star. I need four more stars to get a Wildcat opened up. And then uh, with these twos, I can put out both of these fires. But they will, yeah, they will just go out because it's a hose. Uh, so that's good. I don't have to use supplies for that. I could have used a supply, though. That's okay. Not gonna use, and then I get four, uh, four hits against enemy planes. So I will go one, oh no, three hits, two and three, and that's my first plane, enemy plane gone. And no active fires, no leaks to worry about now. So uh, phase five and six aren't a worry. And. That's good. That was, that was not not that bad of a run. I'm, I'm not not too worried right now. Okay, so we have to assign our DC teams. I'm going to go back to the bridge. You say, why can't I just keep going to the bridge over and over again? Well, I could, um, but the main reason I, I can't is because the captain doesn't want us just lounging in the bridge. There's more important things to happen. So, but this time I get to lock in a one, I get to lock in a four, cause I'm gonna leave that one back there and just keep shooting at these planes. And then we find out where this new one that's just gonna cause a single fire is gonna hit. It's gonna hit an eight. Uh, and it is facing the aft. So eight aft is the engine room that is very unfortunate because that starts uh, a fire in there too. Okay. Last time, did I mark off? Uh, what is? Let's see here. Mark out any FM2 Wildcat cell if it had been used. Oh. So wait. This one is, and this one is, you may not use bridge actions to mark out stars this round. Oh, okay, so I couldn't have used, because they were attacking my bridge last time. Is that right? So I, I, I should have moved this up here. So I couldn't have used this to mark out a star. Um, what would I use that for? I guess I would have used it for anything else um maybe it doesn't matter we'll just say I, I made it a glance okay and then that way the game is is fine okay so that's where it was now it's going to eight though and aft and eight aft is engine room so it starts a fire um and that's annoying because we are also going to start another fire because of what damage is showing on the plane that's attacking. So we have two fire in there. Um, and okay, cool. Now we roll and wow, uh, six and six and five. I do want the five, that's a five inch gun. So I'll keep that one. And let's see. Um, Maybe I could roll over here so you can see what's going on. Uh, so I have a two, a five, and a 
there's just a lot to keep track of. And the mic does give you this uh, chart to show you everything that's going on. But uh, it's not difficult, it's just uh, information. So I definitely need a hose. Let's use that there. And um, a five here. And I do have a one, so I can have another hose. So I'm going to reroll this six and risk it. Try to get something good. Oh no, the worst thing that happened. I got a 10. Okay, so that is the worst thing that could have happened from that. I should have stuck with the glancing blow, but I didn't. And now we resolve these. So I'm going to take this here, and now we have uh, two hoses to deal with these fires in the engine room. And those are gone. And then I can shoot with my anti-aircraft. And then I can shoot with my five inch guns. Um, so the total number is divided between two adjacent aircraft anywhere. So um, I think actually what I want to do is do it between these next two, not the next one coming up because Uh, yeah, because I, I don't like that. So I'm going to do that. And then, so that was my fives. And then we have to resolve an explosion. An explosion, remember, uh, add debris to any damaged compartment and every adjacent compartment by filling it bubble. So we have to go any damaged compartment. Oh, so that means, okay, so we're going to have to go here. The way, the way that reads is any damage compartment. Here, 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 and here. That doesn't seem right. Why would the explosion over here? I'm going to take one away from each of those. I think it means, um, I think that could be clear, but I think what it means is the one that is damaged and each one next to it. So this one, unfortunately, the engine is next to one, two, three, four, five. So we did the damage there there. Uh, thematically, that makes more sense. There and there. Okay, so that's a bunch of damage from that explosion. It was bad, but not the worst possible thing. Okay, and that's the end of that. So now we can reassign. The one can't stay here, but it can go here and get us the D10. So that's what I'm going to do. After the D10 does its stuff, we will get access to it. And I'm gonna leave that one there, keep shooting. So uh, this goes up here. And then we roll this, see where it's gonna attack. And this plane is attacking the floor side, number seven, which is our radar, which is the whole reason they were attacking the ship. It's the forward radar ship. So it's attacking number seven and that means that we can't use any ones to fill in stars, which is unfortunate because I haven't done anything with stars yet. Um, but okay, but now I get the seven as part of my pool of dice. Oh, and I locked in a four. That's right, I locked in a four with my gun. All right, so let's have some better luck this time, hopefully. Uh, oh. And I should have put, man, I'm just forgetting everything. Uh, on the seven, I should have put in a leak and a fire. I think I'm gonna assign the fire to the radar room. No, I'm gonna assign that to communications just in case I can't deal with it. And the leak to radar. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so, All right, I have a three here, so I can deal with that leak. Um, a five to shoot at the things. Eight is bad, three is fine, but not great. So I'm gonna reroll and see what I get. Wow, I just got three tens, which are the worst. So I'm gonna reroll. That, um, okay, explosion and shooting and 
Uh, the laughing might be going down this time because there's a fire and another leak. All right, so we have to resolve all of these. Um, well, the first thing I can use my damage control team that's in communications to put out this fire, so I'm going to do that. I reduce my supplies by one. And then I will um, solve the leak with my wrench. But we're going to have other problems. Uh, we're going to shoot at this plane. Uh, and take that out there. I was hoping to... Well, I, I can. I can destroy this plane. Okay. And then I have two five, so I can assign one here and one here. And that does destroy this plane, and this is regular damage that's going to happen now because I'm so a little bit of a respite, uh, but not a lot because we have bad things about to happen here. So we have a leak. Um, so this will go to the target or any adjacent. Uh, I think I'll put it in the Ford fire room. Okay, so we have a leak there. And then we have a fire. And I'm going to put that here, I guess, in the radar room. And then we have an explosion, which means that this one and the ones next to it all get damaged. I mean, if, if the ship's going down, this makes sense. They're hitting the radar, they're hitting the bridge. It, it's quite annoying. Uh, one, one, one. Communications has taken the most damage so far. Uh, yeah, five damage to communications already. All right, and our leak will spread this time. If there's no component uh, compartment below it, it spreads to the compartment before and aft of it. So it's going to go here. That was going to happen either way. And to the fuel tanks. Okay, and then fire, uh, it will, fire spreads to a compartment. Uh, it becomes an explosion, and we have an explosion. <laughs> uh, so this one is gonna become an explosion. So this is damage. Damage, damage, and damage. So now communications already is um, only has two free uh, damage pips left. So that is very, very unfortunate. That did not work out well for me, including the red eye. I don't know that I will do that again. Um, so that is back. Let's assign a... I'm going to send this one to here, keep that one there, so we get a 1 and a 4 this time. That was ugly, ugly, ugly. And the aircraft are going to attack. So this one is facing aft this time, thankfully. Uh, it's going to attack number 6. Maybe I should worry about clear skies so that I, don't, I can have a break. It's going to attack... The crew quarters, so I have one less die this time. Okay, neat, not neat. Um, it's gonna attack the crew quarters, and it's just a regular damage for once. Okay. That's kind of a relief, but I only have three die to assign. Dice to assign. Hey, look what I rolled again, a 10, and a nine, and a six, and wow. Uh, I'm gonna reroll all those. One and two, two, uh, two tens. Come on, I really need better luck. Uh, there we go. Two and a one. Two isn't going to do anything, but that's okay. All these ones. Um, I could get clear skies. That would be nice. Or I could work on my wildcat. Oh, goodness. Um, if. Clear skies means I want to have to worry about aircraft next turn. But I'm not super worried about aircraft. Oh, I'm going to be having leaks. 
So, um, there, there's nothing great coming because both of these planes have explosions, and that's not cool. So, I could have assigned them as five, and then that would be two to each. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assign them all as fives. Put the five inch guns um, and then go one, two, one, two, because it says uh, total number of hits must be divided between two adjacent aircraft anywhere. So I take that to uh, round up because if there's only one die here, then we'd round the half up to one for each. Um, I'm going to read it positively like that. For me, I need something positive. So that's the ones. The two doesn't do anything. And I get my other die back. The four will shoot at the one I'm currently at. I probably should have rerolled that because I like one damage more than I like two leaks. But um, so be it. So, so we are on to this next one, which is going to give me two leaks. I could have done clear skies rather than shooting at these two, but this way I might not have an explosion, so that might be better. Um, this one's attacking the four. Okay, so I have to move this. I'm going to take two, two fours locked in. I think that's what I need to do. Two fours are locked in, and then I get to uh, see where the aircraft is attacking. It's going to go to number one on the fort, which is great. That's the best place for it to go, honestly. Right now, it's going to go way over here on, on the bow, and it's going to give me a leak. Uh, so with that leak, i got to put that in here. That means I'm having a bunch of leaks in the front of the ship. Okay, very, very thematic. Um, and then we roll, let's see here. Oh, no, then we got to put in two more leaks because that, that's what I was looking for, what what airplane we were on. So two more leaks. Um, so one has to go in here and one has to go in here. So we have a leak at the front of the ship. Not the worst thing ever um, because we can get some wrenches, right? Hopefully, hopefully we can roll some wrenches. I don't know. There's a three. Okay, there's one of them. Uh, a four. I have five. I'm going to take the five. Oh, I need another three. Come on. Okay, there's a one. That's that's good. And six. If... Uh, Let's try, f you know, I'm going to just leave that six. We're going to leave that six because nothing's going to happen with it. I'm not going to risk more bad things. We already know what the bad things are, and they're not the worst things. So I'm going to put this one at a three, and that way we can fill in two of these leaks with our wrench. And then we're going to shoot twice. Is that about it? But I'm going to get an explosion if I do that. You know, I'm only going to fill in one leak. That, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm only going to fill in one leak because I need to not let that next plane come. All right, so this is one leak. And honestly, this is the best place in the ship to have it. So I'm going to use that one actually as another. F oh, no, I have a five. I have a five. I have a five. I can do that. Okay, good. Even better. Okay, so four, four. Take out this plane, and it's gone. And then I forgot that I had a five. I can take out this plane and this plane. The bad thing is I'm going to get a leak and a fire. But it, the good thing is it's going to be on the aft side of the ship when I do it uh, from, from this plane here. Okay, so that's that. 
with the five and the six, nothing happens. And we are back around, except for that we do have a leak that's going to um, spread. But that's probably the least bad thing that could happen because that's going to go from the bow to here. And, okay, assign our DC teams. We want to lock in a one and a four again. The captain's getting a little bit annoyed with us bopping back and forth, but that's okay. One and a four. Coffee. And where is this aircraft going to attack? It's going to attack number five in the back, the battle dressing station. Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. I haven't had that happen before. What does that do? Battle dressing station. Move one damage control team to this compartment next round. Okay, so I'm going to have one less of my blue cubes. Uh, available. Oops, that doesn't move now. That goes over there. Okay, there we go. So that's there. And I have to assign uh, regular damage, a leak, and a fire to number five. I think I will put the f fire in the aft fire room. And the leak and the damage in the battle dressing station. All right. And with that, now we have some dicey things to do. Wow. Seven, seven, zero, eight, seven, six. Yeah, no. Reroll all that. Four, five. Be taking those four and five. Come on, I need I need one more one or uh, three or four or two or three. Come on, there's a three, and this one is a nine. So fire is going to happen. Okay, um, I'm going to make that a hose. So that'll put out this one, and the wrench will put out this one. Uh, the leak and if you're just not joining me feel free to ask questions about uh, Laffy <laughs> let's see here and then two fours I can shoot twice at this plane uh, but unfortunately there's a fire left over and I'm gonna have a fire because of this one so that happens um, and I don't want to take out this plane yet because both of these have explosions coming so I'm gonna do I'm gonna shoot at these two planes these are the big the big planes um so those are the ones I will shoot at and then a fire is gonna happen and with that fire I have to go uh, here to the battle dressing station and that's really bad uh, Oh, it can go adjacent. That's good. I'm going to go adjacent because if I don't, it will spread. It will make an explosion because it can't go any farther upward. So I'm going to go to the aft fire room instead. All right. And then we resolve end of stuff. No leaks to worry about, but there is a fire that's going to spread. Um, it will go above it. So it will now go to the battle dressing station. We also have two leaks over here that we haven't dealt with yet that I've completely forgot about. And uh, does this game have much replayability in my opinion? Huh. Um, it is. So I want to do this before I get forget. This is going to go here. Uh, and this one's going to go here. Um, and then another one over here because of this one. Um, replayability. I think that it is a fairly difficult game that's going to play very similarly every time. And, um, one thing Mike has done is given you different, uh, kind of challenges with the difficulty. So if that's something that interests you, um, then yes, there's a, a decent amount of replayability. Um, I don't know how often 
I would play it. Like I played, I've played Fleet and Three Sisters a bunch. This is a different sort of game than the Roll of Rights, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, feel free to ask other questions because that's kind of a vague answer. I, I mean, replayability is a little bit, a um, little bit personal and subjective that way. But I mean, it, it is going to work out a little bit different each time depending on the choices you make with your damage control team and how the enemies hit you and even how you start with i i had the worst luck with starting here on this plane um so it will feel a little bit different but it's going to play very similarly every time if that makes sense um okay so i had a big leak problem that's that's a that's a very big problem um so we're going to move one damage. Actually, we're going to remove two damage control teams up here to deal with all of that. Except I have one less because of this. So one is stuck here, and this goes over here. So I only have one damage control team that can deal with all of this. So this one, I'm going to put it in the bow uh, because that also prevents, uh, what does Mike say? Uh, no, I'm just going to protect the crew quarters because that's, I don't know. Either way, that's, 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 that's what I'm doing. Um, and then we see where this one that's facing aft is going to attack. It's going to attack um, the crew quarters. Of course it is. and Because that means I have one less die to roll. Okay. And... Two, two hoses are good because I need to deal with those fires. Um, the five, I think I really need to worry more about. Uh, oh, I got to resolve. I have to resolve what this plane is going to do. A fire. A fire on number four. Neat. More fires. I don't like that. Okay. So that happens. And. I think I want a five to keep shooting at these planes. I'm not going to shoot at the one I'm at yet. I'm going to reroll these. Three to deal with one of the many leaks that I have going on. Um, and then the four I could shoot, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Oh, it's okay. There's an explosion instead of shooting. So that's terrible. Um, two hoses. Uh, yeah, I think earlier I said the game has maybe a 30%, maybe slightly higher, maybe a 40% win rate. Um, so there is that aspect to it if you like a fairly difficult but not impossible game. Um, and then a wrench. I will do that one here, and I will do that one here, and then I will use uh, my guns to shoot at these two, and um, what is it? let's see here. I will spend a supply where this damage control team is to go here. Um, but the problem I have now is there's still a fire raging here. And there's still leaks here. So this one can't go any lower. Uh, I probably should have dealt with this one. Yeah, we'll say I dealt with this one. Um, just fix that like that. 30% uh, doesn't sound like the ship that would not die. seems like it died. <laughs> it should have died with how many planes they attacked it with. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, that's why it was an amazing uh, encounter. That they, they kept getting hit over and over again, and yet somehow it didn't fall apart. And it lived. And it's still uh, moored down in South Carolina. Um, so that's why it's called the ship that wouldn't die. It, they... The, the Japanese should have taken out with how many times they hit it. It was at least 22, maybe 30 planes that 
uh, attacked it. Um, they sent a task force of 50 planes to attack it, and most of them got towards the Laffy, and it's not a huge ship. Okay, so now i got to deal with all my leaks. Okay, so this one is going to spread again. This one is going to just spread forward. And the fire is going to spread up. Oh, I forgot to resolve my explosion. Neat. An explosion. <laughs> Great. Uh, debris to that one. And all the ones are up. One, 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 and one. Okay, I'm, yeah. Uh, I am, I'm not doing well right now. But. I mean, yeah, how how difficult do you want your solo games to be? There, there are easier modes to this game where you definitely start on the easy plane and you have some things that, that can make it uh, easier to play. I get my blue cube back. Uh, now I can assign it, and I'm gonna put it on a one and on a four. Well, or do I want to put? It, I'm gonna put it on communications because communications is very no. Mm. Let's see here. I guess I will put it on Battle Dressing Station because that's very, uh, no, on, on uh, Aft Fire Room because that's very vulnerable there with that fire. So I could, uh, I can also respond to all adjacent compartments during Phase 5 and 6. So that's what I'm going to do down here. And then we see where this plane is attacking. And uh, Compartment 6 Aft, which is the crew quarters. And it's going to start another fire in the crew quarters, of course. And let's see. Okay. I just feel like I'm forgetting things here now because there's so many uh, problems popping up. And with all that, I can, I can do things. What do I want to do? I want to do things. Oh, I can... Yeah, I assigned one here so I can turn this into a fixed one, a locked-in one. I have a bridge. All right, there's a one. That's nice. There's a two. I can put out a fire. Good, 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 good. There's a three for a wrench to try to deal with more of these leaks. And four and five. And do I want to shoot down the... I want the five to keep shooting at these big planes that are coming that I don't want to see at all. And then I want to reroll this one. And there's a one. Cool. All right. Much better round. Um, I think clear skies is what I have to do. Well, let's see here. I can deal with both of these with my last two supplies. Um... And then this one can deal with this. So that's all the fires. And then the wrench could deal with <laughs> one of these. The, I, I'm, the, the ship is sinking is the big problem. And then one, two, three. Clear skies would be nice. But it might not be the most important thing. Okay, so I guess I will go, and I have no more supplies. Can I use that more than once? I've never tried to use that more than once. Uh, damage control teams. I would hope I could, because that's that seems crazy if I can't. If I can't, I'm, I'm done for, for sure. Uh... Damage control teams. Will my damage control teams do, 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 do? I don't know if I can use that more than once. That's a good question. I'll have to ask Mike. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see that. 
Okay. Um, I don't know if it makes sense that a damage control team could hit two different areas. You know, so I'm going to say, no, I can't. So I still have one supply left, and I'm going to use, uh, but I'm going to mark out this one. Because I don't think a damage control team could do that much effectiveness in one room. So that was one supply there. I'm going to have to use um, one to put out a fire over here so that doesn't become an explosion. And then I'm going to have to use uh, one for a... Uh, leak here and one for a leak here and two for this fire and three for this leak here and uh, five to continue to try to take out these Big bombers that are coming for my ship. And with that, how long does the average game last? Um, when I'm not talking, I finished the last one in about 35, 40 minutes. What does he say on the box? Uh, 45 to 60 minutes. So I think it depends how well you're doing and also uh, what kind of damage is popping up. Because right now I'm, I'm really dealing with some ugly stuff going on. So yeah, 45 to 60 minutes seems about right. Uh, unless things are going super well, then it goes uh, faster. If they're going poorly, then it could probably take a little bit longer than that. Either way, I think I'm either going to be dead or have um, some things happen here. So now I have to deal with all my leaks that are on the ship. Um, so this is going to spread uh, down here again. This one is going to spread fore and aft. This one is going to spread fore and aft aft this one is going to spread full uh aft so i have a lot of leaks basically this part of my ship is sinking right now um yeah that stinks i'm, I'm probably going to sink or communications is going to blow up so i i'm, I'm close to dying <laughs> i'm close to uh just becoming a wreck where my ship's going down um uh, okay so that is that let's assign some damage control um i only have one supply left but i'm gonna go up here and i'm going to go where do i want to go uh i think i want to lock in a, i was just out there i locked in one last time so i can't do that um where could I go? Because I only have one supply. So I guess I'll lock. Uh, what? I wish I could lock in something besides ones and fours. That that would be nice. Um, if I could lock in a two or three, that would be better. But right now I can't. So I'm, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to get the red die. We'll see where this plane is attacking now. It's going to attack compartment four again. Crew quarters. Okay, so same place, uh, which means I get one less die now. Okay, and I roll all of these and get the red one too. Wow, okay, I think I'm going to be dead soon. So there's that. There's the five to get rid of those two planes. I'll roll two of these, or roll twice maybe. There's a hose. There's a wrench. Oh, do I need a hose? Oh, I should have put my fire. So yes, I do need a hose. Fire goes in the crew quarters. And four. I'm going to use that. And then one more time, and hopefully I don't get a seven through ten. Oh, explosion. Cool. I think that might... That might do me in next round not this round but very very soon okay so the one we can we can deal with some leaks or get supplies um either way not super great um uh, and it's funny that's the bonus i got is the one that is hurting me so okay um 
the one. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just deal with another leak. And the two, well, I will put out this fire here. And the threes, I will, um, I mean, the damage is just piling up. No, ma no, no matter what, I'm going to have too much damage. This one's going to use my last supply. It really doesn't matter because I'm pretty much dead either way in the water. Uh, I'm going to take out this plane. And this one is going to take out um, these two. So we skip up to just pure damage at least, not fire. Uh, and now my leaks will spread again because this one can't go down so before and aft so my crew quarters and my crew quarters are both about to uh oh thanks yeah um if you like the look of it i think that's one thing that mike did really well he used uh old um true comics to make his rule book and uh, so, yeah, it's got a neat look to it, but I'm about to sink. Like I was saying, my crew quarters uh, are both about to uh, fill up next round. We'll see what happens, but we also have to resolve this explosion real quick. So an explosion is going to happen. So here, here, uh, here, here, and here, which means that... <laughs> My crew quarters up here are about done. My battle dressing station is about done. Um, crew quarters here and here are about to be completely filled up. So either way, I will be losing quite soon. Uh, and nothing else matters. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so this is going to go back here. Um, at least the game's pretty because... I, I'm definitely losing. Okay. I won the one before this. It, it, it's like if I get on stream, I just can't I can't win. Uh, okay. So assign my teams. I'm definitely taking a one. And I... Mm, I don't know. There's not a whole lot that... I guess I want to re-roll if, if that happens. So I, I, I will go up here. And we'll see where this plane is attacking... Uh, four this time because we got rid of all three of these planes. Uh, eight. So it's going to go to the forward fire room. And it means all sixes, which would normally not do anything, glance off, are going to turn into fires because of course they are. And we will roll and see what happens. Two, two. Well, I, I have to put my damage down too. So the forward fire room has one two, three, four damage. So that one only has one damage left in it too. Um, and then a bunch of twos, which are useless right now. I need threes to deal with all these leaks. I have one, three. And oh, I, I should have locked in one, 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 two. I'll, I'll take the five um, to be generous against the game and disgenerous against myself. Um, okay, so I don't want those. Let's re-roll. There's a three. And I don't want the six. I don't want the eight. So I'm going to re-roll last time. This might be the end of the game right here. There's a one. And there is a five. Okay. A five and a two, which is useless. But at least it's not something bad. And um, ones. Can I get rid of all my leaks? No, I can't get rid of all my leaks, but I can get rid of a good amount of leaks. Okay. So, let's see here. I, I don't know that it will matter. Oh, that leak should have spread up here, too, from here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I, I have problems. I have problems. Okay. Two is useless. And I can resolve four... Four wrenches uh, to put me at one, two, three. I guess four. Yeah, it, it's it's about to go south, 
And then five. Let's at least shoot up a couple more planes. Um, we'll shoot these two. Because it can be any two adjacent planes. And... Um, all right, my leaks are going to spread. So this one can't go down. So it's going to go to here and here. This one can't go down. So it will go to here and here. And that's the end of the game because these two com uh, these two quarters have completely flooded. So even if I deal with them, their debris, they're filled up. The crew quarters here and here have sunk the ship. They're filled with water. Uh, we didn't bulge it out it's uh yeah that's the game <laughs> that's what happened and um so the types of planes i, I said it at the beginning but the the um the one that was coming against me right now is the nakajima ki 43 oscar which had drop tanks 200 minutes of full throttle fuel probably the highest trained uh pilots that were coming against the ship at the time and um, their excellent, excellent maneuverability and veteran pilots made their aircraft aircraft quite difficult to hit. That is represented by having four damage on them. That's what was coming against me. I I like the game. It's fine. Uh, it, it's it's pretty good. Um, I do think that it is difficult, and I'm gonna play it again. Um, at some point, but probably not on stream because I need to focus on all this damage control that I'm doing. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if uh, Thanks for stopping by and watching. If you watch this later on, on on YouTube, let me know if I missed something, if I could have dealt with my flooding a little bit better, whatever. Let me know. Thanks. Happy gaming. I'll be back later this weekend with some more games probably. So.